Menkes disease or Menkes kinky hair syndrome. It's characterized by depigmented kinky hair, very high yield. Okay, it occurs in male more than female. Why? Because it's an X-linked disease. It's on the X chromosome. XQ21.1. X is the chromosome. Q is the long arm. 21.1 is the segment. ATP7A is the gene affected. So, let's go to the mechanism. Okay, so we take copper with the dye. Copper goes to the small intestine. Here is the lumen. Here is the enterocytes. Copper is here. Goes through the membrane of the enterocytes through a protein called copper membrane transporter 1. The gene ATP7A regulates this protein. So, then copper goes in the endocytes, then to the bloodstream, then to the liver. So, a defect in ATP7A is Menke's disease. This is something bad. Copper is needed for many enzymes, especially mitochondrial enzymes. Okay. So, in this slide, we will talk about collagen modification and there is a video for that you can find the link in the description so in brief to form collagen we start with pre pro collagen then pro collagen then we go out of the cell pro collagen converts into tropo collagen then from tropocollagen to collagen fibrils, we need an enzyme called lysyl oxidase. It requires copper as a cofactor. A defect in this step is the pathogenesis of Menke's disease. There is a def deficiency in copper, so lysyl oxidase cannot work. We cannot convert tropocollagen into collagen fibrils. We do not have any collagen fibers, which is a disaster. So what are the symptoms of Menke's disease? We have hypotonia. The muscles are very weak. Hypotonia. What else? We can have seizures. We can have metaphyseal widening. We can have premature baby. Of course, we have kinky gray hair. Okay, it's very brittle. This is very characteristics of Menke's disease. Failure to thrive, subnormal body temperature, developmental delay remember copper is required for mitochondrial enzymes without copper the mitochondria cannot do its job remember the hair is kinky the hair is colorless or depigmented it's steel colored easily broken Okay, also we can have neurodegeneration of the gray matter of the brain. How to diagnose Menke's disease? We can do skin biopsy. We can do take this brittle hair, the this these kinky hairs under the microscope. They are very fragile. We can check for the enzyme lysyl oxidase. We'll have a defect in the enzyme. We can check the function of bone, skin, hair, blood vessels, nervous system because collagen is deficient. Okay, maybe we can do genetic test for the X chromosome 
to find the defect gene ATP7A. How to treat this disease? There is no cure for Menke's disease. We only manage the symptoms of this conditions. For example, anti-seizure medicine to treat seizures, feeding tube if necessary, maybe physical and occupational therapy. There is nothing more that we can do for these poor kids. Menke's disease, remember ATP7A, not B, B is Wilson disease. Here is ATP7A, Menke's disease. Copper deficiency, copper is needed for many enzymes, including lysyl oxidase, which is required for modification of collagen. We have symptoms. Most importantly is the kinky, depigmented, steel colored hair that is that easily broke. Diagnosis, genetic testing, enzymatic lab testing, take the hair under the microscope. Treatment, there is no cure, just manage the symptoms. See you in the next video. Please consider subscribing and give it a like if you liked it.